Hello and welcome back to another video. I am Angst Attack, but you can call me Katie. We should be finishing up with the sixth part in the fourth chapter of the first Walking Dead series. I hate oh, introducing shit. this game. So Molly was having sexy time with the doctor dude. Let's just hold on to that information. Let's head back to the classroom. That's where everybody should be by now. And if they're not, well, that's not good. Jesus Christ! Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Me too. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery down. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. Uh, about that. Molly? I'm just kidding. Bitch. Here you go. Better not be dead. I don't trust her. What's that? Nothing. Picture of her sister. You lied to me. What? You said you'd never been here before, but that wasn't the truth, was it? What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. You were having an affair with that doctor. I didn't lie. I asked you how you knew about Crawford. You said you just heard stories. Uh -huh. I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? Right? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place, earn their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's <sighs> rules, that made her a liability. Shit. I kept it a secret. Kept her safe for as long as I could. But in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. I swear if a walker comes up behind her, or me... Ugh. This is all I have left of her. Hmm. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. It's pretty. What the hell? I Shit. think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Uh, the axe in the door is gone. Unless it's this door? Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus! Oh, oh, fucking yeah. hell, Ben! Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. We're okay. Did you get that door open in the classroom? Not yet. Kenny sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. That's what was holding the door. Ben, where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back oh there. Oh my god. Oh no. Ah, shit! Oh too close. Nice shot. Thank me later. Come on! Right, let's fucking go. Ben, we gotta go! Ben! Move your ass! Leave him. It's a liability. What the fuck is ass. going on? They're coming. Oh, shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. Um, we can just get this damn door open. Fucking Come ben. on, damn you! This is my fault, all my fault. What the yeah. hell is he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean, this is all your fault? Penny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Uh, Kid, this ain't the best time. Uh, Whatever you did, save it for later. Ben, we don't have time for this now. I'm sorry, Lee. I can't do this anymore. He's got a right to know. Know what? 
It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... Kitty man, I agree with you. You should kick his ass. But now's not the time. I gotta focus on getting out of here. You little piss ant! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You gotta both fucking kill! Kitty, yep. listen to me. You can whoop his skinny little ass later. <laughs> right now, we gotta go! Nice group you got here. I'm not the time, face. Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! I agree. Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omi, and you put that at risk. I'm sorry, Ben. I've got to do what's best for the group, and that means cutting you loose. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a second? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Too late. Ah! Now can we go? Ah, yes, Damn please. right. Vernon, come on! Go. Shut the door. Whew. So much for the armory. What's left Ooh. of it? A few rounds. That's it. Wow. You didn't close that door behind us? I couldn't. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on! There's gotta be a way out down here! Oh boy. <gasps> no. no! Fuck! Fuck is not right. gonna hold. Back upstairs! Fuck. Lee! Look! Sweet. <laughs> here this leads to the roof we might be able to find a way down from there you didn't come into town from the railroad did you um, yeah maybe. why never mind I can see the sewer where we came in from here I think we can do this well what are we waiting for go go Yikes. Yeah, come on let's go I don't want 
to them. Shaggy. God. That's rough. Oh, mead? Clementine. She's hiding. That's not Clementine. Good. <laughs> it's going to be her alone. Jesus. Jesus fucking Christ! Uh -huh. Where the hell is Clementine? Clementine! Lee! God. You made it back! Told you I would, didn't I? Did you find my parents? No, we didn't. Sorry, sweet pea. I looked for them, but no. Clementine, what happened here? One of those things got inside. It tried to get upstairs. I stopped it. Upstairs? Oh, Mead. You did good, kiddo. Real good. Hey, what do you say we go check on Omid? Oh, boy. Hopefully he's not dead. Krista? Everything okay? Oh, Mead! Hold on. Is he... dead? Krista, don't! Stay back! I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him! Get away. Mm -hmm. uh. oh, hey. Back already? Oh, Jesus. We got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. Where's Ben? Yeah, was close. He didn't make it. What happened? Dumb son of a bitch nearly got us all killed. Lee stepped up and did what he had to. That's what happened. Oh, shit. Nice going, asshole. What's eating you? Yeah, I did what I had to. But I don't expect Clementine to understand that. Hell. I don't want her to understand it. You did the right thing. Trust me. She'll understand. I'm gonna go start work on the boat. Rumbly okay, the best. with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. All Thanks, right. Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in okay. private. Oh. Listen, man. About what happened to Bree. Don't beat yourself up over it. There was nothing you could have done. Mm. That's you want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? Mm. That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now... It's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we'd better kind just get is. used to it. Yeah. 
What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me, to my people. Ooh. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? I guess you have a point. I just want what's best for her, whatever that means. I think you already know what it means, Lee. I want you to think about some things. Man. You chose to let that boy die back in Crawford. I gotta wonder about the morality of the kind of man who would do something like that. Well, he was an I asshole. I got to wonder what kind of parent you'd be. Better than he would have been. Oh, shit. No? Okay. Fucking shaggy. Ben. A hole. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. Fun? It's been terrifying. I screamed like three times. What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. Sounds like it'd be pretty crowded. And I never did like the water. Mm, we don't sure have Ben anymore. This? I'm sure. I've crowded. always done better on my own, anyhow. Listen... I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. And you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Don't Good make luck. me cry, Molly. Don't take nothing to cry. do with luck. Oh boy. Hey, sweet pea. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? Someplace else. Someplace better. Clem, honey, what's wrong? What happened to Ben? What did Kenny mean when he said you did what you had to? Um... Clem, you have to believe me. I tried to save him, but Ben didn't want me to. What do you mean? What Ben did was very brave. He knew we were running out of time, and that saving him might put everyone else in danger. So he told me to leave him behind so the rest of us could get away. I know that's difficult to understand. I understand. You do? Yeah. He thought about other people before he thought about himself. My mom always told me that's what makes a good person. Well, hmm. she was right. Yeah, except before Ben was an ass. Tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? Uh, I'll sure. lie. We'll look before we leave. Really? You'll take me to Crawford so we can look? <sighs> I knew you didn't really mean it. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, Clementine. I'm so sorry.
Ah, oh, damn. Oh boy. Uh, Clementine? What the fuck? Clementine? Where the hell is she? The fuck? The fuck is everyone? What the hell? Clementine? Clementine! Don't fucking yell! Oh god. Oh shit. Run to the hat, not walk. Run, homie. Fucking hell! Why? Why? Not cool game, not cool. Crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee? Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's mine. Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No, no way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night, Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? Clint may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Sure. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. All for Maybe. one and one for all. You've always been there for me, Lee. Always had my back when it mattered. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? Bitten or not, I'm with you to the end. Shit. You can count on me. Okay, guys, we should go find Vernon, see if he took her. Let's head out. What about the boat? We just gonna leave it unguarded? If someone was gonna take it, they'd have done it already. Besides, what choice do we have? True. Let's kick some ass. Knock on the door. <gasps> They're gone. Oh, that's messed up. Where the hell are they? 
Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Oh boy. Bitch. Where have you taken her? This isn't Vernon. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. Oh, man. Alright, 25% of players did not kill the boy in the attic. Well, I only didn't because it was an accident. 66% of players were rational and honest with lying and threatening Vernon. 26% of players left Clementine. Really? Only 26? Huh. You and 33% let Ben fall. Well, Ben was an asshole. You and 80% showed the bite. Really? I expected very few people to show the bite. Huh. Who came with you? So, I'm not the higher chunk. I mean, I didn't fucking want stupid what's-his-face. And I'd rather keep these two new guys with me. Those are a lot of percentages for um, group options. Let, let's keep rolling. Dun dun dun! Credits! Well, that's gonna be it for this video. Like, comment, and share as you please, and I will see you next time. Okay, bye!